Today we're in Kuala Krai, Kelantan, and we're taking you on a delicious Malaysian food tour. We're going to try local Kelantan food, including the popular dishes Mi Chalap, Laksam, and the ultimate ABC in Malaysia. Kuala Krai is a small town located along the Malaysia Jungle Railway in the state of Kelantan. It still punches above its weight with a vibrant food scene, with plenty of places to enjoy the delicious Kelantan cuisine. The photos of this didn't do it justice. This is an ABC lava, and it was 10 ringgit, which is twice the price of their normal ABC. And I was kind of wondering why it was so expensive, but this is absolutely huge. So this is going to be quite a challenge to get through this, but I think we're up to the task. We are at Salera Tepi Tasik, which is just across the road from the park and the zoo in the middle of Kuala Krai. And this is a beautiful restaurant. It's, its menu looks amazing and definitely finish off with this ABC lava dessert because this is, this is blowing my mind. So ABC is a very popular ice-based dessert in Malaysia. It has lots of ice, which is just covered in toppings and different ingredients. It's got jelly. This one's got chendol. It's got beans. It's got little bits of corn. And I think, what is this? Maybe maybe lychee or, or some jelly or something like that. So, and grass jelly. Yeah, so many things happening here. And if I don't start soon, it's going to melt all over me. So let me take my first little slurp. Mm. So if you like bubble tea, it's kind of like that in that there's all these little bits of jellies and stuff like that, which gives it a nice little texture. Oh, and yeah, on a very hot day, this today is just really hot and really muggy. So I have been dying for something to cool me down and this is just the perfect trade. Mm. So let's try some corn and some beans. Mm. Oh, it's all just so delicious and I just love the number of ingredients there are here. Mm. Oh, this is so good. So 10 ringgit, you really can't beat that value for something of this size. It is literally as big as my head. So excuse me while I finish this because it's not going to last for long. This evening we're at Chandig Cafe in Kuala Krai and we're trying some local Malaysian dishes. So we've got a Neka soup and that's got all sorts of different meat in it. I can see some tripe, which is like stomach. And then we've also got the Mee Chaluk. So the Mee Chaluk comes with a wedge of lime, which looks like it's going to be a nice little addition. And then it's got a few different types of meat and it's called uh, Mee Chaluk. So Chaluk means to dip. And basically they cook the soup and then the noodles are dipped in boiling water before they're put into the soup and that's what gives it that name. So it's a very similar to a Thai style flavour and we are reasonably close to the Thai border so that, that explains why there's a similarity there. And then we've also got some prawn crackers here as well with a nice dipping sauce so I might just try that to begin with. Yeah, that sauce is quite sweet. Mm. And the prawn crackers are nice and light and airy and a little bit crispy as well. So let's try the Aneka soup now. Mm. So I'm liking the vegetables that are in here. We've got some celery, we've got some onion, got some um, tomato as well, which is really nice. And then the broth, it's a like kind of more of a clear broth and it's got a bit of saltiness and a bit of sourness. It's a really nice flavor combination. And you can taste there's herbs in there as well. And then the tripe has like a little bit of a chewy, a little bit of a gelatinous texture to it. It's a really beautiful dish. So yeah, I'm happy with this one. Now the major look, and this looks like, oh, I'm, I'm just loving the look of this soup. Yeah, so there's, oh, thin noodles, like more like vermicelli noodles and then you've got more of the flat noodles and yeah different types of meat and 
there's a lot going on here. Oh, there's even like more of the yellow, like Hokkien kind of noodles. Yeah. I'm really liking this combination of the different types of noodles and the different types of meat. If you like variety, this has got tons of it. And the broth itself, yeah, so it's a clear broth and it's got like an aniseed kind of taste. And then you've got the acidity of the lime juice in there as well. So yeah, this is a beautiful dish. I'd say my favorite is definitely the major wolf. And it's quite a hearty dish as well, very big. So these are two very beautiful dishes and I'm looking forward to polishing this off. This afternoon, we're trying some Luxem Lamarck. So it's a Kellington special. And so Luxem, it's a type of soup and the gravy is quite mild. It's not too spicy and it's quite fragrant. So there's lemongrass and other nice herbs in there too. There's also a taste of, oh, is it fish sauce or maybe shrimp paste in there as well. A bit of a fishy taste. So yeah, it's really nice. And what's also interesting about this dish is that you get noodles, but the noodles are cut round. So they're sort of in bite-sized portions. That makes it look quite unique as a dish. So yeah, it's really nice. And there's a little bit of added chili if you want a little bit of heat to it. And we've also got a couple of shallots and bean sprouts just to round it out. So I'm gonna try some bite-sized noodles. Oh, wow. And this Luxem's a little bit different to the ones we were trying in Cote de So it does have a bit more punch to it. And I'm pretty sure it is shrimp paste. So it's got a stronger shrimp paste taste to it. I really like Luxem and I probably prefer it to a Luxa, mainly because it's not as spicy and I really like the taste of lemongrass as well. Drink pile of curry and we're going to have some lunch. So first of all, we need to get some rice. So follow me. Okay, so a big bunch of rice there, huh? Yeah. So we're going to get enough rice for the both of us? Yeah, why not? Now once we've got our rice, we go to the front and choose what meat we want. So what are you getting, John? So this is an ikan, I think, perchik. So it's a little bit spicy. Should be just right. We've been recommended this. So looking forward to seeing what it tastes like. Now we're getting some chicken. We've come to a traditional Malaysian restaurant called Shima Salera Kampung. So a lot of restaurants in Malaysia, especially around lunchtime, have like a buffet style where you just choose what you want, you choose your rice and your meats and your vegetables, and then they just work out how much the total cost is, depending on what you get. So we've chosen a fish, we've got some vegetables, some rice and some chicken. And the fish is called Perchik Ikan. The chicken is a Bombay chicken. So this looks really beautiful and it comes to 11 ringgit. Let's try the fish now. It's really nice and tender. It just comes away from the bone easily. Got a nice looking sauce here. Right. Mm. Kind of like a, a creamy sauce. Maybe it's coconut, coconut cream. It's not spicy at all. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm just trying to work out what this fish is. It might be a mackerel maybe. It's quite a light colored fish and it's not like an overpowering fishy taste. Hmm, it's really nice. Now these vegetables. So we've got some bean sprouts, we've got some carrot and some onion. A nice bit of crunch. Again, it's not spicy at all. It's a really nice accompaniment. And now the Bombay chicken. Yeah, so it's got this sticky orange color to it. So I was thinking it was going to be really spicy, like lots of chili, but it's actually not at all. I think maybe the coloring comes from turmeric. And it's got a very strong cumin taste and fennel as well. So I can see the fennel seeds actually on the chicken. It's 
So yeah, that's really nice. We were told that most of these dishes are local to the state of Kelantan, um, and they're really beautiful dishes. We love this style of restaurant where you can pick and choose the food. The only downside is you don't get to know the prices until you actually select everything and they tell you. In this part of Malaysia, not a lot of people speak English, but we were fortunate that there was a person here, one of the other patrons of this restaurant was um, an English speaker who had spent some time in Australia and she was really helpful in um, helping us select our dishes. So yeah, this is a beautiful dish. I'm looking forward to finishing this meal. When you're traveling around Malaysia, make sure you check out all the street vendors there's a wide variety of delicious food to sample. So we went to a street vendor this morning and got ourselves a local state of Kelantan delicacy, a cock. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I'm gonna find out very shortly. So it feels like a pancake, sort of has a consistency of a pancake. And let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. Mm. It's nice, it's sweet. It's like an eggy consistency, like a fried egg consistency. So I would say, yeah, it is like a pancake, but heavy on the eggs, maybe a little bit of flour in there and a, a bit of sugar too, just to sweeten it out. So yeah, this is really nice. And I think this is gonna be quite addictive. always pays to talk to locals, you'll always find some interesting local facts. A local points us to this monument behind us. So it's a flood warning monument and it represents various flood heights of historical floods that hit Kuala Krai in the, in the past. So what's really crazy is that a number of these floods are way over my head from where we're standing. So the largest flood was in 2014 and it reached a flood height of 34 metres which is crazy. You can see it all the way up the top there. Just crazy. We're at restaurant Pahon Tanjung in Kuala Krai, and we're trying a traditional state of Kelantan dish called Nazi Balau. So what it is, is a rice dish, and you, you get a meat and a curry. So we've got both fish and beef, and it also comes with some cucumber as well. Okay, so I'm going to try the fish first. So first I'll try some of that curry. Ooh, that's curry in a coconut milk. So that tastes really, really nice. It's not hot. Um, you do get some chili on the side if you want to spice things up a little bit more. And yeah, it's really nice. It tastes a little bit like a Thai curry. I think that's mainly the, the coconut milk that I'm tasting. I think the fish is tuna. That's good. I'll give the beef a go now. Yeah, so the beef curry tastes a little bit sweeter. It reminds me a little bit of musaman curry. Just a little bit. So, yeah, that's, that's very delicious too. So Kelantan is a state that's right next to the border of Thailand, so you do get a lot of Thai influences in the food. We hope you enjoyed our Kuala Krai food tour. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and leave us a comment. We have plenty more Malaysia food and travel videos to share, so if you want to join us on our travels through Malaysia, then be sure to subscribe and click that notification button to stay tuned.